something just doesn't feel right. And that's when I saw the main street that our neighborhood exits out onto, having water coming in from both sides. And then it started coming up my street. And I threw my vehicle in reverse and gunned it because I was trying to outrun the flood water coming in because I had my three children. It was devastating. We didn't even know that the water was coming in. We were sitting watching TV. All of a sudden, the water started coming in through all the doors. We didn't know if we were gonna get out in time and we've been completely uprooted. We lost everything, everything. All right, everybody, time to get up on your feet. We're ready, guys. So 8 Days of Hope is a faith-based organization. We go all around the country and we help people rebuild six to 12 months after a disaster. But this week, we're rebuilding homes in Lafayette, Louisiana. Last October, about two and a half months after the floods in Louisiana, I had a chance to come down and I was just really stunned at the level of devastation and the displacement of families and, and the destruction of homes and communities in Louisiana from those floods. And, you know, that was two and a half months after the floods had occurred. And it became very clear to me in that moment that we needed to mobilize, we needed to do something to, to help the families and the communities uh, in this state. So Good360 connected with 8 Days of Hope, and 8 Days of Hope is a long-term recovery group. They come into a community that has been kind of forgotten about. Usually the media has turned its attention to something else, and so Good360 connected with them, and we have the right products, and our goal is to get those products to the right people at the right time. And so it was kind of a perfect fit for 8 Days of Hope. They rebuild homes and, and get the shell to where it's livable, where where we provide what goes inside the home. So there's not oftentimes a perfect match like that. So at this point, we had a great partner, RH, who was willing to step in and support that cause. We knew that we could be hands-on and making sure that that product went to the right people when their home was ready to receive it. RH, Tempur-Pedic, and UPS Foundation were instrumental in bringing all this product into this warehouse. We found out that Eight Days of Hope was a possibility and that they were willing to have a conversation with us about coming into Lafayette. Um, we were determined to make it a reality. We all collectively supported the, the work to get them to commit to coming to Lafayette. The homes that we're going to be able to reach in the next eight days, it would have taken us um, as a local community years to get to this many homes. We were excited when they announced that they were coming to Lafayette. We were even more excited when we learned about the partnership between Good360 um, and Eight Days of Hope for our community. This is the first Eight Days of Hope trip where we have partnered with Good360 and it has been absolutely unbelievable. Uh, without Good360, the organization such as uh, that, we would not have been able to get the furniture, the mattresses, the, uh, everything that we've gotten to be able to share with all of these families. So it has been a partnership from the get-go could not have happened and we look forward to future partnerships, events just like this. You know, when you, um, you look at the magnitude of what needs to be accomplished, you know, it's clear that no one organization can do it all. And so Eight Days of Hope have developed this extraordinary program of mobilizing an army of volunteers to come in in eight days and make a huge difference in rebuilding homes. We fill another side of that, which is to help those homes become homes by bringing product from our corporate partners uh, into those homes. So it really becomes a holistic solution. Eight Days of Hope acknowledges that when you partner with somebody like Good360, that you have to have great partners to make something of this size happen. And so, you know, we want to thank Tempur-Pedic and RH and UPS, because each of them um, filled a role on this trip for us. Uh, a homeowner got to see, you know, a new mattress, a piece of furniture. I saw a little boy jump on the bed yesterday. No one freaked out. We we're all kind of laughing, but he was jumping on his brand new bed. But, and honestly, it's 
more than just the repairs. And meeting people like this has really restored my faith in humanity that there are still amazing people out there who do things not because it's going to benefit them financially or because it makes them look good, but because they genuinely care. And that is something that's nice to be reminded of. What y'all are doing for us is amazing. Y'all are truly helping people when they are at their lowest. Just one small act of kindness, you know, means the world to somebody. I wish y'all just knew how grateful we all are.